Danny I want my vlog and uh, what I'm, I'm doing the easy easy way out I'm taking a whole I'm taking another one off of another vehicle I came down to Wilberts and I'm gonna steal it off of here because um, I just I just can't get those bolts in the back out of there so just uh, remember the top bolts are 17 this is 17 for some reason and uh, the bottom one's an eight, uh, 19 18 uh 18 18 inch bolt down here so um that's where i'm at should be yanked this puppy off it's got a good 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 rotor here um so that's coming with me too okay and you got two two bolts up in here they're 15s oh. up in here they're 15s those came right out Nothing here I've had to use a freaking breaker bar with yet. Or on mine, I had to. Right, holy cow. All right, so I got two. I got to get the caliper off here, or uh, brake line off of here. And I still got that bolt right there. Okay. Uh, next. Next thing is the brake, the brake line, bracket. Here's the bolt. It's one of these star tips. And I used a number 10. It's like a number 10. A 10? Yeah, see the, that's a 10. You can see the, see the design in there? Starred. So that's what holds that brake, your brake line in place um i haven't had a chance to look at the nx skid yet we'll see okay uh get your little anti skid bracket bolt and that's a uh, 13. Now get that out of the way okay. My anti skid bracket would, would rot it off. So, this, this drag link's got a lot of life to it. Left, which is great. I got lucky in the bearings in good shape. <laughs> okay, I got my, you had to get that anti skid um, bracket out of the way because you gotta get, a, you gotta get your wrench down on that that nut for that bolt and uh see what i just used for that was 18 right 19. no it's 18 and uh rolled roll right on out um rotor just came out it's in, it's in pretty good shape i just got to clean it up um it's actually got some good good emergency brake pads on it unfortunately i have to disassemble it because I'm gonna have to hook up the emergency brake cable. Okay, I just popped the popped the shaft out of the rear transmission, so it's gonna stay in there. And as you can see, the actual uh, anti-skid cable is actually still inside the wheel bearing, which is perfect. This is in good shape. I think I should take that because mine's loose. Okay, there we are. I got my prize. I'll go ahead and take it home and forget my my rotor here. I'm going to. Let me take the, the rotor off the other one. I'll wheel off, pull the rotor, pull the rotor while I'm here. So I got a pair. I know they're in Philly good shape so I can clean those clean them up and then uh, take them home with me all right so there we are I, I got no choice but to cut the cut the brake cable because I'm not pulling that part here so there we go uh, one two three four five um, five bolts in fact let me grab that let me grab this link because it's in 
It's a nice stiff shape. All right, I decided while I was here, I was gonna go ahead and get the front rotors off of it. As you can see, it's still shiny. It's almost brand spanking new. Pads, brand spanking new. You know, it's crazy. You have to go pay full price when you can get something that's almost, almost brand new. You just gotta clean them up and uh, you're all set. They're just sitting here, brand new and rusting. You know, which is what it would do in your, in your driveway anyway. Here's the other ones. We've got rears, fronts, and uh, you know, there's no gonna charge me about ten dollars, five to ten dollars a freaking piece for rotors, and you gotta pay, you know, sixty, seventy dollars. Get away with paying twenty, twenty dollars in the end for brake brake pads and rotors um and it's just you know all you gotta do is come down and get them that's the only thing um your uh um your brake uh your big big brake one uh those bolts there are uh 18s these here are 14s um so not bad deal I'm down there two, down there two hours so I'm getting a set of brake get a set of brake uh, rotors all the way around pads all the way around and then I got my drag link there's a bearing in there with the hub and then uh, drive shaft so we'll see what my what the damage damage is brand new freaking rotor here once i got it rotted and done okay so there we are um i tried to get that camber it's called a camera link um and i can't get it because it's frozen it's frozen in the bushing the bolt the bolt going through there's frozen in the bushing and I, i'm not gonna mess around with that you know i'm gonna have to cut it they don't cost that much anyway. Here's a, here's my my daughter's old Sebring, still sitting here. <laughs> they started taking stuff from it, so uh, perfect interior. Yeah. Airbag. Yep, yep, yep. That's something. <laughs> Johnny, watching it. There's your old, old girl. <laughs> All right. So, conclusion of my trip to Wilberts. I got the drag link. I got a freaking drive shaft. Bearing is still intact. All I gotta just plug it in. I got front rotors, rear rotors, and pads for it. All for uh, 80 bucks. So I can't complain. So that'll conclusion of my getting parts for the 08 Jeep Compass. Um, that being uh, I said I don't have to pull the I don't have to pull the bolts <laughs> now on that old drag link and. Uh, Put the bearing shot, so there's nothing on that that uh, I can use anyway. So I'll get this done, get her, get her installed, and I can go on the other side and see what that's going to take me. Um, those nuts, nut heads are still in good shape, so I may be able to break them loose. I don't know. Um, if not, I'll be down here again stealing the. The other dry, uh, the other drag link off of that one, and uh, I'll, have to, I'll see how much. I'm gonna look in the look on the receipt, and find out how much she charged me for that drag link. Now I'll probably change out the good old uh, drive shaft too. Right, I can bring it down. 
Uh, let's see. Brake rotor. No hub. Brake rotor. Let's see. Yeah, brake rotor. Brake rotors. I got four. Four of them, which they were at. That was all four of them, all the way around, $47. So it was like $10 a piece. Uh, let's see. She charged me drive shaft, $16. $16 for the drive shaft. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, well I got <laughs> we got out of we got out of there cheap. Alright, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. We'll catch you on the next. Dana Crosby's garage. Hey Dana, welcome to my garage. This continuation of getting the 08 Jeep Compass ready to go here. Oh no, don't tell me that. Is it really? Yep, sure is. Oh, man. Yeah, it's broken. Ugh. Something else? Really? Oh, my word. Oh, I need them out. Maybe I can get the other, maybe I can get the other one out of the other one. Ah, oh, crap. All right, anyway. Well, after working on those and working on them, finally got them out. So that was a savior. Um, all, all three of these came out with the, uh, what is this, 18, 16, 17, 17 inch socket. Cleaned them up really good. I sprayed them for about two days with the penetrating oil. And then uh, I went at it with the impact. The impact wouldn't do it. And then I went ahead and used the uh, ratchet with an extension on it. And three of them broke this one did not so what I did is I heated it up I heated it right on the nut or right on the head and then uh, I let it cool down and then I did the same thing um, but uh, breaking those other three loose uh, wasn't without uh, damage I had an adapter um, for it because I needed a thin wall um, and you're only going to do that with a with a regular 3-8 socket unless you got thin walled impact deeps. Um, you know, in my case, I didn't. So that broke off. And then I even had my thin wall uh, Mac. Uh, what are you? Are you 16? No. Thin wall Mac. Was a 16? 16 because I needed that on that on that one there the, the, the that one there because it was uh, uh, Pretty loose With the 17, but I went after I broke that I said I'm okay. I'm gonna heat it up and uh, I did um, Unfortunately, you see the little clip clip here that holds your anti-skid uh, Cable and it's it's basically gone um, so I'm going to have to replace the, the bearing anyway. And fortunately, <laughs> uh, one thing is a freaking another. So now that shot <sighs> might be able to get it out of the old one, but why? Might as well just order one. I think you can order it. Uh, yeah, that one's in, in decent shape. I'll see if I can order them. I'll press it in there. I guess. I don't know. Not sure how it. It must press out. Yeah, presses in. All right, so I'll have to order another one of those. They're not that expensive. My my whole issue 
was having a, a decent drag link. Um, there's nothing wrong with this drag link. It's in good shape. So it's all good and sturdy. So I guess I just have to shove, shove that out, put a new one, put a new one in. Ah, man. Didn't want that. But at least I found it before I put it in. So I'll just slide. It'll slide this over back in there. Um, always something. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Definitely share. We'll catch you on the next Dana Crosby's Garage. And this is for the 08 Jeep Compass. Hey, Danny, welcome to my garage. All right, this is a continuation of uh, fixing the 08 Jeep Compass. Well, I got to replace that wheel, ba uh, wheel bearing on the passenger side. So um, I just stuck it in my good old press here. And the hard part was getting those, bol getting those bolts out without stripping the, uh, stripping the heads. So that was a that was a major uh, complication there, because um, the original. That's why I'm doing this is because of the original original one. I can't get the bolts out um, without uh, major major work. And also, I found that they had rusted out on the bottom down here. In fact, uh, right here. What am I thinking? Right here in my, uh, hey, rotted right out. So, um, and when you know, I, I was able to get this one here, I was only get, able to get two out. This is the other one. And I was able, well, I was able to get um, three out of, three out of four out. So, uh, that was, that was the end of that. And then I made the decision because of this. Now the other side, same situation. I uh this is this is starting to rot through here and I couldn't get the I couldn't get any of these out at all this time. Um the only way to really do it is to get heat, start melting stuff. So uh I decided, well what the heck, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh replace replace them. And not only that, but the drive shafts, um the boots. The boots are rotted. As you can see, this one's starting to. This one. Where are you? This one's starting to throw. Was throwing, throwing grease. So it's just easier to go down and find another compass in the, in uh, Wilberts and uh, yank them out. So when you go to press press this out, I think you can even do it by hand. Um, as you can see, I used uh, brake uh, the uh, blaster, and it seeped right through seep right through and uh, let it go now when this comes off um, you the bearing this whole piece is going to come off this is your uh, brake your brake brake holder your vacuum your vacuum back um, your um, emergency cable assembly as well so you're going to have to separate um, I got to do it again See if this will just punch, pop out with a hammer, and then I have that whole area here. But uh, this is what this is what your drag link's going to look like once it's uh, uh, missing, missing that, and it's going to come out. It's going to come right off with it. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right, with a little bit of heat <laughs> and a little bit of big persuasion. It popped out. So, see what you've got is it's kind of beat in there. So when it gets pushed in, it presses presses in there because um, it's kind of concave, concave. And then this is kind of co concave here too. So we go. All right, we're apart. Thank God. Um, uh, just got to get it back on there and then uh, get our get our uh, 
get that seal for the rear back in and then I'll be able to put this up. So there you go, stay tuned. All right, here we are, here's the new bearing. This is the whole reason, this thing here. Whole reason, bearing, the bearing doesn't wear out, this rots out. So then you wind up all your indications on your on your dash because of the freaking because of that. All right, long journey here getting those getting that in. Oh man, talk about it. And then of course I tried to get the brake line off of here, and it's a you know it's a star, it's a star bolt. And the star bolt broke, uh, stripped out, so then I had to cut the head off of that, and then read, then drill, drill a tap, and then uh, back it out, so I could get. <laughs> Talk about one thing after another, but uh, yeah, it took a little bit. It took a little bit to get that to break out of there. Um, heat it up. I used um, penetrating oil and let it set and set and penetrating oil. And, Heated it, finally heated it up, and then uh, um, wrapped it. Um, and kept wrapping it with the uh, mall, and uh, it popped out. So Okay, after looking at that really good, that's a brand new seal. So I was looking at the shaft, and the shaft looks like it might have a little bit of groove in it from the old, uh, old seal. But that's a brand new, brand spanking new one in here not cracked or anything so um and that's and then and, and that was a telltale right there was these the braces here are disconnected so somebody was already in here and changed those out so we're gonna go ahead and get the drive shaft in here and uh get that get that back together okay we are um the drive shaft back in we're in good shape here um, I gotta check uh, levels in here. Um, the other thing you want to check is on top you have a uh, a pressure relief. Let me see it now. I can see it in the mirror. Uh, right on top you got a pressure relief. You can see it in the mirror right there. Um, a little. I want to say va uh, Yeah, pressure pressure relief valve. Um, it kind of keeps everything even in there. If that plugs up, when uh, your oil heats up, you get pressure. And what it'll do is it'll blow out your seals. That oil, oil will push out your seals. So you want to make sure that's free. Well, I did. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's broken. And you're probably looking at that like, well, it's missing something. I said, yeah, you're right. It is. And uh, there it is. So before this go back, before this goes back in service, I got to figure out what I can put on top of that because that goes directly in here, and water's going to go through that hole, dirt's going to go in that hole, and uh, now you're going to have an issue in the rear. So um, that was pushed down, I think. I'm hoping, um, and it and it's been sealed the whole time to a point where it uh, blew it out. Or uh, because there's your little rubber, there's your little rubber thing right there. So it, it looks somewhat clean, um, sitting on there. Um, so you have to keep that in mind when you're going to the mud, when you're going to the mud and stuff like that. Um, if that's not on there, it's gonna fill your, it's gonna fill, it's gonna fill this with water. So um, you keep that, keep that in mind. All right, so I got my drive shaft. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the drag drag link back on here. Okay, we're finishing up. Got my got a bolt here holding your brake line. Goes through this little uh, little holder here. I'm getting get this now. This is the whole this is the whole reason for this whole evolution is this cable right here. That has to go in. You can see inside it is a little, little clip up on top there, and it's got to slide in that thing, in lock. 
And that, this is the whole reason for this. Your bearing is good, but that's not. So let's, uh, all right, there we go. She's in there a little bit of a, it's a little bit to get in there. Another lock. You got another hold right here. Get in that hole, maybe. Got to roll that back just a little bit. Yeah. Now I can only hope, hope that it reads. Uh, let's see. This is the code that we had. I actually had a right too. And now I'm left. So let's see if we can clear this. This is what the dash looks like after everything shuts down. Start it again. Airbag and air, air. Oh man, come on. I don't have all those. What the heck was that? Oh, okay, so, that's what we got with everything running. I don't know why I got an airbag light. Shouldn't have all that. <laughs> ABS. Okay, so what I'm concerned with is stuff down here. And I've got this. So let's go ahead and clear it. Wait a minute. All that went. And now it's back. All it's back. And I'm going to come back up. And what have I got? Left rear speed sensor circuit. Well, of course, I didn't change that bearing. I changed the right. So, uh, appears we have an issue over there. But I want to make sure it's not the the uh, cable going into that. The chances are that it is actually the the bearing is it is 99.9% .9 correct. So, um, that came back. So let's see what happens. When you clear, all wheel is gonna disappear and so will the other stuff. So you got to have, it's gonna clear back up and here we are. C, 1020 C, or 1020. So that left side is still bad at this point. I'm going to disconnect the cables. All right. And these are, your, these are your cables right here. There's one here. And then the other one is right here. So I'm going to disconnect those real quick. And we're going to see what we got for indication. See if anything changes. Okay. Now, if that's correct, now that I've got... This should be the right side that's going to gonna trip. Let's see if I... Right side now trips. Uh, should have a right one too. Right rear. And right rear. Right and left. Okay, I just plugged that one back in. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got one active. Just the one, just the left. 